Hi, my name is Richard Price, and today we're going to be making a video here about how to test uh, your battery charger for Power Wheels and how to test the Power Wheels battery itself to see where the problem is. Uh, the main question we're trying to address here is why your Power Wheels battery is not charging. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need, uh, really the only tool you're going to need for this, is going to be a voltmeter. Uh, voltmeters are pretty common. If you don't have one at your house, I'm sure a neighbor or a friend of yours has one in their possession you can ask to borrow. If not, you can pick them up at Home Depot or the local hardware store. Uh, they're usually around $10 to $15. Uh, there's no need to go expensive with these. So basically what we're going to be doing here is testing the charger output first uh, to address the problem. A lot of times we get customers that will give us a call. Uh, that received Power Wheels batteries either at a garage sale or from a relative and they're not sure if it's the battery that's bad or if the charger is just not working. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our charger here and plug it into the, to the outlet. So the charger is essentially on. Uh, the first one we're going to be testing is a 6 volt charger. I also have a 12 here. Uh, so you're going to take your voltmeter and you're going to switch it over to the 20 DC side. All right, and then basically you're going to take your electrodes here and touch them right to the terminals of the charger. Now in this case it doesn't really matter which one's positive and negative. If you flip flop them by accident it's just going to give you a negative reading which is still going to work for us. So go ahead and touch the negative to the negative and the positive to the positive. And the reading we're getting here is about 7.12 volts. Uh, for a 6 volt charger that's good. So even though it's a 6 volt charger it's not going to put out 6 volts. It's always going to put out a higher voltage so that it can actually put amps into the battery itself. So that was our 6 volt test and now let's try the 12 volt. The 12 volt has a little bit wider range. We're looking for about 13.5 volts all the way up to the 14 mark here. So let's plug it in. As you can see, the probe style charger, uh, just the, the terminals are going to be on either side here. So we're going to take our voltmeter, do it again, negative to negative, positive to positive. Yeah, we're getting about 14.2, which is good for this charger as well. So if you're getting anything really, anything below 13 volts, uh, that's going to be considered an issue. Now, the only charger that you're not going to be able to complete this test on is the Power Wheels Quick Charger. Uh, the reason being is that since it's a smart charger, it needs to actually be plugged into the battery itself prior to putting out any voltage. Uh, so I believe we're going to make a separate video for that one there. So now that we've eliminated our chargers as a uh, potential issue here, next it's time to take a look at the batteries. The chargers themselves are, are what's called dumb chargers. They're going to try and charge the battery no matter what. However, if the battery itself is below a specific voltage threshold, threshold the charger will just kind of sit in limbo. It's not able to put any charge into the batteries themselves. So what we're going to do now is test the voltage of the batteries to see where they're at. So we'll start with our 12 volt battery. The acceptable range for this battery is going to be about 10.5 volts and above. That's where your charger should be able to kick on. Uh, anytime you're getting lower than 10.5 volts, like let's say you're in the 8s or 7s, it's going to be time to replace the battery itself. The charger is not going to be able to charge up that unit. So for the battery, I'll flip it up here so you can see. We're going to be using these two terminals here to test. So we've got our voltmeter again, and we can touch positive, positive, negative to negative. I did it backwards, that's all right. So 12.7 volts, which is fully charged for this 12-volt uh, battery here. So this battery is good to go. And I wanted to show you how to test the, the red Power Wheels battery because it's a little bit difficult uh, due to the plug style. It's a very thin slotted plug so you won't be able to really get a good grip on there uh, without actually damaging the plug. So the workaround for this is going to be using paper clips. So you just put one in here and you get your other one. You gotta push them down a little bit but you don't have to push them down too far. They just need to make a little connection there. And then same deal with the electrodes. I'll come up to the battery itself. And we'll look at about 6.35 volts. 
uh, which is almost fully charged for this red power wheels battery here. So obviously we don't have any used stuff, so I can't really show you what a bad one looks like. But for a six volt battery, you're really, when you get down below the five volt range, you're gonna be starting to see a little bit of trouble with the charger trying to charge the battery. You're in the fours and the threes, it's time to really think about replacing the battery itself. So this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to do all that. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to comment on the video or give us a call toll free 1-877-775-4381. Thanks for watching.